Hello, class, and welcome to one more Bible lesson. This is the last one, as far as I know, unless something were to happen, I make one more, but there are just a few more lessons left that I will be making for just additional uh, information for you. But as far as our Bible time, I'm just going to make it a little bit short and sweet, and then I'm going to put a link at the end of this uh, in, the in the description about a film, a movie I'd like you to watch today and not have a long, uh, a very long lesson. Hopefully I can make it short and sweet. I want you just to listen to me today. Let's start out by singing a song, but we're gonna use this that I made for our song today. Uh, but it's called the word of this book, but I think you know the words without any words at all. The picture of the heart tells you what to sing. It goes like this. My heart was full of sin until the Savior came in. His precious blood, I know, has washed it white as snow. And in God's word, I'm told, I'll walk the streets of gold. And I'm going to change the words here. To grow in Christ each day, I read my Bible and pray. I think I may have had those out of order. It should be, my heart was full of sin until the Savior came in. His precious blood, I know, has washed it white as snow. And so let's do it like this. Let's try this again. My heart was full of sin until the Savior came in. His precious blood, I know, has washed it white as snow. And in God's word, I'm told, I'll walk the streets of gold. To grow in Christ each day, I read my Bible and pray. Now, originally, the song went, Oh, wonderful, wonderful day, I read my Bible and pray. But if we can change the words to, To grow in Christ each day, I read my Bible and pray. If you want to grow, the green represents growing, and I thought that would be good. We're going to be talking about this for just a few minutes as we conclude our Bible this year. I want to draw your attention to the verse that you will write today. We have been reading, we have been reading in John 16 verses 7 through 13 and you've memorized that but there's one more verse john 16 13 how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come what do these verses really mean? It's his truth, the Spirit of God that lives in our heart. And he doesn't want to glorify himself. He wants to glorify the Father. And he will show you things to come. There's a parallel passage in the Bible. If you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 10 says, But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so, things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. In other words, we cannot know the things of God without the Spirit of God being in us. Now, we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things, spiritual but the natural man receiveth not 
the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. There are things about God we cannot know without first the Spirit of God revealing them to us. And then as we read his word, he shows us through his Spirit. He teaches us, and he guides us, and he comforts us. So the question is, is the Spirit of God in us? Is the Spirit of God in you, in me? I ask you that question today. Is God's Spirit really into you? And do you know God personally? You see these hearts? What heart do you have today? Are we still in our trespasses of sin? Have we been washed in the blood of Jesus? And has he cleansed you and made you pure? Do you have a pure heart that's tender towards the things of God? Do you know that you will walk the streets of gold one day in heaven? And are you growing in Christ? How do we grow in Christ? We read his word. We read the Bible and we pray. And that's how we grow in the Lord each day. Who are you like? We talked about a lot of people this year from Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all Joseph all the way to Samuel. We talk about Jesus and the life of Christ and what we can learn about Jesus. I'm showing you this because Samuel, Samuel, I believe, had a pure heart. He had a heart for God that was sensitive and said, whatever it is, Lord, that's what I want. You know, when I was in school your age, there were friends of mine that chose to do good, and there were some that chose to do wrong. And I had to stand for right and say no. And you're going to have to do that too. Then I went to fifth grade, then I went to sixth grade, and in sixth grade I saw it a lot, where some of them were doing things, they were starting to get into things that I didn't want to get into. Are you going to stand when all your friends, maybe hopefully not all your friends, but some of your friends, want you to do something bad? Are you going to be like Samuel and say, no, I cannot do that. We had a tender heart. Here I am, Lord, and he heard the voice of God. Do you hear his voice inside saying no and leading you to the right things? I hope so. I hope you'll do that and stand firm. They say that children start out with tender hearts and their hearts start to get harder as they get older and they don't want those things many times. But there's a few that will remain true to God and I hope you're going to be one of the few that do. The Bible does say, few there be that find it. Broad is the way to lead them to death. Narrow is the way that leads them to life and few there be to find it. Few there be who find it. I hope you're one of the few that, that will find it, that will search and follow God always. Cast aside the temptations of the devil that you will face in your life. I hope you'll do that. And we can pray for each other. Pray for each other. What is love? What is the love of God? Because the love of God in our hearts is what? draws us that way. And when the love of God is out of our hearts, we're drawn to do evil. What is the love of God? I want you to watch a film today. That's why one reason I'm making this short. And it really has a lot to do with what I'm talking about. The love of God. And I'm going to put a link. And parents, this is a family film. I don't know if you've seen it before, but it really moved me when I saw this movie. And it's all about the love of God and how there's actually a song written called The Love of God. And it's the story of that. And there's a boy in this, in this movie that's your age. He's pretty much, I believe he's in fourth grade. And um, he's your age. 
And one of the things that spoke to me is without a relationship, you really can't love. Do you know what I mean? Like you could share a prayer request with me and you could cry about your dog that died or a family member that died and it wounds you. There's pain because you have a relationship with that person and something bad happens. But if I don't have a relationship with that person, I don't really feel it as much. Do you know what I'm talking about? You hear of someone that died, but if you don't know them, it doesn't really, I mean, you feel for the family because you want to have compassion for people, but it's, it doesn't have the same hurt inside of you, does it? But when you know the person, there's pain. And so when we know God, there was the pain of the cross, right? But until we know God personally and have a relationship with him, we cannot have true love for him. That was a thrust of what hit me. True love is based on a relationship, knowing the person. And the more we know them, the more we love them. And that's true with God. If you don't know him personally, not just some thing out there that you say words to, but know him personally, then you love him. Well, I challenge you to do that. We're going to pray. We're going to ask God right now to touch us. Let me get my hat off. Dear Lord, Miss Stan, I pray for every boy and girl that if they don't know God, that they would personally seek him and seek him with all their heart. And even those that do know God, that are saved, that are born again their whole life, they would continue to seek the Lord, you, God, with all your heart. I pray for all of us. We would know you better. And might this film touch someone today. Might we live for you always. And we pray in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. So go ahead, hit the link below, watch the film, and be blessed. Be blessed today. God bless you all, and I will see you hopefully in at least one more video. You take care and love God always. Bye for now.